You're listening to the Minecraft Podcast. Oh my god, dude, that was mine to get out of here. Welcome to episode 44 of the Minecraft Podcast. With, well, we're missing a member this week, but it's just pause. In his place, we have Nevers. Nevers, say hello to the people who are listening. Howdy, everybody. Gee, you said member. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so pause is off on... Uh, where did he go? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's yeah. talk, let's talk yeah. about this first, then. Uh, pause is at Zeldathon, which is happening this weekend. When's this going up? Tomorrow, dude? Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we are now yeah. recording the podcast on Fridays. Yeah. So, um, have I, we had confirmation he's there yet? Because he did seem to fail to get there yesterday. Again. Was he supposed to get there yesterday? Yeah, he tweeted that his plane was cancelled because of technical difficulties or something. Really? Oh gosh, that's the same thing that happened last time. <laughs> yeah, I think last time was the weather. Yeah, last time it was the weather. Huh? I, you know, it's that's hilarious because I said, "Yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna flake out last minute and not really go." I wonder like, no, if he's no. gotten there. Yeah, I'm going to check his Twitter real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> that would be too funny. Yeah, so it's uh, vacation number 26 this year, I think. My God. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know how long it goes. It goes for more than just the weekend, doesn't it? Isn't it like a whole week? Yeah. I think it's I think it's seven well, five days. days okay, five days. I feel like we're, we should know. We should, have, we should have the inside information. We're failing at knowing the Zeldathon days. Um, it looks like two flights down and one to go still. Wow. Holy crap. Three, it takes three uh, changes, I guess. You to know, be, uh, less than that to get to the States. Well, whenever I was going to fly to to California for VidCon, if I if I had flown into the Long Island airport, it would have been four layovers. But to fly Jeez. into LAX, it was nonstop. And it's like a 20-minute cab ride. Wait, wait, wait. Seven hours ago, he tweeted, one flight down, four more to go. Wow! Five? <laughs> <laughs> well, th- I wonder he doesn't this is in the middle of, like, nowhere Pennsylvania, right? I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah I don't know where. But even so, you just fly to one of the internationals and take a domestic from there, surely. Right. So you know like what? swapping two animal carts and, and, and skateboards? <laughs> What's going on? I, I just want to throw this out there. Each of those flights... They count as their own vacation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five vacation, and on the way back, it's another five. Yep, possibly. Totally. Yep. No, no, no. To be fair, the flights aren't a vacation. No, no. Well, yeah, the destination. It's the layover. Right, right, right. Each layover <laughs> was its own vacation. He's now vacationing in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, for his connecting flights. <laughs> what is with Tom Hanks where he's in the airport? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh yeah, man, what that I don't know what that's called. I think it's just called airport. <laughs> yeah, that's a different film entirely. <laughs> oh man, I gotta look that up now too. Tom Hanks. Yeah, he was a foreign guy, right? And like his country, yeah. he didn't have a place to go home to. The terminal. Yes, the was terminal a good movie. He was also in that movie with um, Leonardo Hanks. DiCaprio. That was uh, Catch Me If You Can. Mm-hmm. That's a good film, though. Yeah, I like that. Maybe film. pauses Tom Hanks. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he does not look the same in person. That makeup, man. You know what the the camera adds. Oh, God. Attractiveness. <laughs> on, on the flight back from DC, there were two films. And both of them were Matt Damon films. Oh, man. <laughs> and nice. Them were good ones. Score. You didn't have, like, one of those, like, in the seat cam or a. Did I bollocks? They promised loads of really nice stuff, including in seat uh, power, because my laptop battery's knackered, so I need power. So I took all this stuff that I could do, uh, some work and all that crap, and I get there, and I said, well, where's the power socket? And he says, well, there's some in first class, but the plane's so old, they're like cigarette lighters, and you need adapters for it. What? Oh, man. For <laughs> Christ's sake, well, why give me this list of things you've got? How long was the flight? Uh, it wasn't too bad on the way back, actually. It was it was six minutes, six or six minutes, <laughs> six hours, 50 Hyper minutes. Speed. Oh, wow, six hours. Time. You had, yeah, like, some good seven. good wind. Yeah. You know what? Let's let's jump to this then too because people are probably confused. Um, yeah, yeah, Baz yeah. was in DC for a DC mini meet with uh, Good and Jay Sano. So how'd that go, guys? It was it was fun. Um, and uh, you got to meet someone from Reddit too, uh, Blue Bayou. Um, and, went, and Jeff's girlfriend. Yeah, well. Jeff and his girlfriend and girlfriend's Jeep. roommate. <laughs> I, I, you know how you picture people in your head. When you hear them, yeah. you know, they're always sort of, naked. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is always the thing about oh, it's very so, so. I always pictured Jeff's girlfriend as black for some reason. She's got that sort of husky, black sort of singer voice, doesn't she? Mm. She, she wasn't. No. Apropos of nothing, but. DC was, uh, I didn't realize DC was such a, a nightlife, or had such a nightlife, I guess. Didn't realize it was so hot. Uh, <laughs> well, where do you think all those senators are partying it up? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we went to this one place, and I swear the sign said it, the name was Mama Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that place was crazy. Yeah, it was like, I imagine during the day, it's like some kind of tea house for like 80-year-old women, because like they had like all these like doilies and little tea settings and stuff on the tables and on the wall and it, it, it reminds i don't know it's like where you would like the old women bring their granddaughters for tea and biscuits or something and then it, i'm not even kidding man and then at night it turns into crazy mama vagina <laughs> wait so during the day is it the same name or is it a different name yeah i don't know no they probably ch- well during the day it's its real name which was like mama vienna or something i don't know from the outside we were looking in because we were looking for a bar where we could sit down and still actually hear each other when we talked and so we were just kind of walking down the street while uh, Jeff's girlfriend and roommate discussed which strip club we were going to. And we were all like, we're not going to a strip club. And they were like, well, yeah, yeah, we can't because you got on flip-flops. And I was like, no, but that's not why we're not going to a strip club. <laughs> oh, man. And then we got in front of this one place and I was like looking at it. And I was like, does that sign say Mama Vagina? And then you look inside and you're like, yes, yes, it totally says Mama Vagina. It's like Kath nice. Kidson shop when I said it. They had some weird Russian cartoon playing I don't know. Man. It was. Oh, you remember that episode of The Simpsons where they're not doing um, itchy and scratchy anymore? They do. They, they do a Russian version, and it's like proletariat and, and worker or something. It was, <laughs> it was like that. It was really yeah. odd. It was like these kids, and they were in some kind of like camp or something. I don't. I don't know, man. It was. <laughs> they were in a camp. Yeah. No, it wasn't like a you know fireplace and s'mores camp either. It was like. I don't... Yeah. Exactly. Wow. It was very strange. The whole place was strange. I asked for a Long Island iced tea, and it was like I was in London again or something. You just people don't know how to make alcohol mixed together. So for the mini meet, did you guys like actually uh, announce where you guys were going to be, or was this just like to meet no. Badge and Jason or meet each other? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, so well, Badge so- was there on you know other business, and so I just me and me, my wife and daughter drove up to DC. It's like a six His hour drive. His daughter is brilliant at driving. Yes, yes, she is really <laughs> it took good. Turns. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I guess that was fun. It sounds fun. It was so yeah. hot though. Like it was uh oh, it was, was really hot. humid. It was hot. Yeah. And uh <laughs> my daughter did not we went to the zoo, the national zoo, and uh, it was just it was not the animals were like, you know, screw this, it's too hot, I'm out. I'm pretty sure that at least one panda was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I found that That's pretty so much sad. every animal we saw, all you saw was the butt. Cause they were just like both pandas were laid out their ass to the to the window and they were not moving. <laughs> Poor guys. Yeah, it was just way too hot. Well, Blue was telling me off because I kept on going and standing under the big sort of what do you call them water spray things that were in the. Oh yeah, the misters. Uh, along the path, yeah, there's just full of little tiny children running around in it, and then just me standing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fan art. Get out of the way. <laughs> Fan art. So from Zelda-thon to the DC Mini Meet to a slightly larger meetup, Minecon is announced. It's going to be November the 2nd and 3rd? Yes, at the... It'll be in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's not at any one particular park, just in Orlando, Florida in, in general. In the city. Yes, so you could bring your family and go to Disney if you so desire. Uh, you know... I wonder I, what's that, the reasoning behind that. Was. Well, I, my understanding is it's because Disney doesn't allow large conventions you know that's why it was still limited in paris because they couldn't they could not hold that many people uh, for the convention so i think the reason why is because um if they have it outside of either of those places they can have a lot more people and if you still want to go to one of those places you're 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 in the vicinity i mean he was always saying that that it doesn't make a profit and i think part of the reason for that is the limited number of tickets i think if right Right, you could totally make more money if you had more people, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure you could sell the tickets. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. They haven't announced the total number of tickets that are going to be available this year, but I think it's, you know, triple or more from the previous years. Because it should be. At least they've announced where it is, though. That came sort of late in the game last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so people know where to go. You know, I, I always... Group, 
I always stay with Paws at all these conventions. And I went to book our stuff yesterday, and he's just like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm staying with somebody else. <laughs> Ooh. I know, right? The affair is over. I was like, okay, guy. You were shocked. Yeah, I was. It you was were what, devastated. I was. I was. Heartbroken, even. Uh huh. I mean, I've been staying with Tom Hanks all over the world, and suddenly he's <laughs> out. That's all right. Beef's going to stay with me instead. I'd much rather stay with you, Beef. You are much more human. I'm level headed. (laughs) Right. I'm not as crazy as Paws. Yep. I'll make this vacation count because I don't go on many. Mm hmm. So it's just going to be my only vacation. You don't drink. You can carry me back to the room. That's true. Heck, if I drive, I'm thinking I might drive. I made that drive down there once and it was actually pretty fun. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Take a while, though, wouldn't it? It was 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, I looked. It was like ten hours from here. I think my wife's gonna drive because we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff after the convention. So I think she's gonna drive down. Yeah, but I love fly. driving. Like last time I went, I basically drove for like eleven hours, slept for five, and then drove the rest of the way. Wow, that wasn't a big deal. That's crazy. I guess, we, I uh, did have something to switch out with though. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some gets, decent radio. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that satellite radio would be nice for something like that. Or just my iPod. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's weird, like, I can sit in front of a computer and be awake just fine for plenty of hours, but something about getting behind a car at night, I start getting, like, cross-eyed and tired. I love it. Driving at night is, like, my, one of my favorite things to do in the world. For long Driving trips. at night in light snow. <laughs> and, you pretend, and you pretend you're in, like, a star field or a hyperspace. <laughs> and you're going so fast, the stars are whizzing by your face. <laughs> you're like Captain Kirk. Oh, man. Um... The big news for this week, which we should have talked about first, but then we got a little off topic. Uh, the map has been reset for 1.6. Oh, my God. Nebris has already beaten the game. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. I've been good. He has been good this time, actually. Uh, I think it's because I attacked the poor guy the first day. You did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you found a triple skeleton spawn in MC Edit, right? Yeah. Why did you even open MC Edit? Like, why do you do these things? So much faster in MC oh Edit than God, you can. Oh my God, I hate him. In creative, he cheats. He cheats. Cre- but you, you. But see, here's my thing. Now, for oh, myself okay. and just just myself, I those type of experiences ruin things for me. Mm. Like, I I can't. I couldn't go in MC Edit and look at that. I didn't even load the the seed up prior. Yeah, I took your guys' word for it that it was good. I saw the overview map as far as it being a big continent, and after that, I was sold because I wasn't going to go in and it ruin the experience for myself. Well, I have no plans on actually visiting that spot. <laughs> oh, wow, are you like scared so, to even go there now? Yeah. <laughs> the, the place is cursed. If, if I if I build a triple skeleton grinder there, everyone's just going to be like, oh, how'd you find this? <laughs> you almost don't even need to grind anymore. The way the ores yeah. give you experience and stuff. Like, I was at 30 levels in, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour within actually starting the map just by mining. Just uh, if you need to chant ch- ch- something, go gather some quartz for like two seconds. Exactly. Quartz, wow. Yeah, that little trip to the nether we made. I think I went in with like level two or something and come out level twenty five just from quartz, and I got like a stack I think. So yeah. Well, stack. that's assuming that somebody doesn't go in there and just mine up all the you take quartz all the stone. <laughs> I you think experience. What did they say? Did they probably find that all of it was gone the next day they got to their <laughs> <laughs> hypothetically speaking? No, I don't think you get experience for glowstone beef. Okay. Uh-huh. No, just just the quartz. But you know, you can strip mine for quartz, and that's probably faster than just looking for it, honestly. Because it seems pretty frequent. Yeah. So, do you guys have any plans for the new map? Like, any build ideas or general... I have a ton of ideas for that jungle there near spawn. The problem is everyone that comes on starts building in the damn thing. And so I don't know if it's even mine or not. Just put signs (laughs) everywhere. It's your jungle. It's good jungle. (laughs) Well, yesterday I went back to my house. I recorded an episode... Um, went and got a horse and stuff, went back to the house, get there, and there's a chest on my house, and I'm like, okay. And it's <laughs> on your house? Yeah, it's <laughs> full of gold from Island, and it's like, sorry, I've been building in this jungle. And it's like, okay, does that mean he's still building? Is the gold, like, pay off? Like, I've bought some <laughs> land? Why is all, it is so much gold, it's like ten blocks of gold. You if, you, just, if you take it, that's like a contract. Yeah, you just sold your jungle, man. Well, no, I even said in my video, I don't want this gold. I don't, I don't, I mean, for me, that it kind of took away from the game, too, because I've been, I've been, I've, I haven't stripped mine or anything. I've been enjoying 
trying to stay alive. Mm. And I don't want all this chest full of golds. I said I'm not going to use it at least until the UAC mode's gone. So I'll use have you died yet? Some. No. Oh, Wh- who's still in the running? I've died. <laughs> yeah, have you? <laughs> some some people in my comments seem to think we're playing ultra hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, for me, it's been fun not tr- like trying to yeah. s- just just try to survive and stuff. But I, once you die, it's like this roller coaster or snowball effect or something where oh, you know it's, trying it's to get back is just especially if you die at night trying to get back. Oh man! Oh, yeah, well, yeah the, the the caves are just are just crazy now. You, you you die to one and you go out and you come back and try and pick your stuff up and there's five in there and then you die again. You come back and there's thirty in there. I think yeah. good, you know equip some armor when you go back to get your stuff <laughs> well no because you don't have any armor that's why i died that's why i was in there trying to mine iron you still I, didn't hang a, I didn't hang around at spawn picking up all the group stuff and then you know. i didn't get any of the group stuff either man well the first day we did you know we did caving um me b double and uh etho but i got my own iron you know and stuff uh wasn't like they were handing it to me or anything yeah, just... i've only found 15 uh gold ingots the whole time Man, I Gold ain't. is really scarce where I'm at. You found a silverfish. <laughs> yes, I sure did. Took, got my first death by a silverfish. You were strip mining, right? Yeah. Is well, that... I, was, I was starting up a branch mine, um, and I, I wasn't recording because I thought, hey, there's no way. Nothing could happen. I'm on yeah. one heart, but nothing, nothing's going to kill me. I even sealed off the entrance so that no zombies can sneak up on me or anything. <laughs> and I just I start mining mindlessly. Silverfish. I noticed the block. Like it was. It was like everything was in slow motion. Oh, it's <laughs> the block was like taking a little longer to break. I'm like, wait a minute. This can't be. Click. It pops out, and then another guy pops out, and they they killed me. Oh man, that's hilarious. Were they there when you came back? Just waiting. No. Chomp for some reason, toes? I guess they despawn once they kill you because yeah. they were just gone. Or actually, they could have just gone into another block, couldn't they? Yeah, they came back in. Oh, do yeah. they? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know they did that. That's crazy. That's like they're still there waiting. <laughs> yeah, a little, little plague, <laughs> <Watch>. man. <laughs> Can you silk touch silverfish blocks? Mm, I don't think so. I think you used to be able to. But... Yeah, you definitely used to be able to. I got over two stacks at yeah, one we point. Had, we had a load for the start of the last one, didn't we? Did yeah, you ever but... do anything with those? No. That's too bad. Uh, but I do sort of do something in the in the the finale or the tribute episode i guess i'm working on for the season two i sort of just i do something with those in that episode but that no one will ever see well it's kind of four people who download the uh the map oh when it eventually gets put up for download huh because my last backup was right before we did that final tour oh (laughs) 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 they get them if (laughs) i mean it's 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 still there on the server i could do i could do another backup but i i had done it before we, because I, I I thought a lot of people were gonna blow up their bases and burn down sheep and stuff like that, so I didn't want that stuff to be lost. Yeah, I can't remember when I, I think it was after the tour that I recorded that. Mm. I see. Either way, well, maybe they'll never be able to get it because they're in the Ender Chest. Mm. So, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Great. I, I had so much stuff in that Ender Chest. I I ground grinded ground ground. Ground Thorns like books for like a week, expecting to you know have our final showdown with Etho, and the guy doesn't show up. So now I have all this Thorns three armor, never got used. You called him out at the playground after school, and he just didn't even show up. Yeah, he ran he to the bus. Suspect. Calling you out, Etho. Let's finish <laughs> this right now. Yeah, you should do it while UEC mode's still in effect, just like Death oh. Games nonstop. You know he still hasn't died, and no, you no, should. He, he's died. Yeah, he has oh, died. oh, so who's left then? Just me and BTC. Um, Avidia. As far as yeah, I know, Avidia hadn't died yet. Okay. Has <laughs> Pyro- killed, that sounded like a, a very suspicious. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm working it out. I, I believe his horse took him over a ravine. Who? Oh, Etho. Yeah. I almost like did that. that last night. It was so close. I was like. Hang, sitting on one piece of like tree over a ravine, and you could see right through the, the leaves of the tree, and I'm just freaking out on this horse, and I couldn't move in any direction. It's terrible. I, I lived there. I got a donkey. <laughs> My horse is so slow. Like it was the only one left in that field, and uh, Doc is like, "Oh yeah, yeah, take that one, take that one." So I get it, <laughs> and he's like, uh, "All right, let's let's race back to town, dude. He is gone. He's just so <laughs> gone." And I'm like, "I'm coming, Doc." 
<laughs> got the lame horse. I did. You know what I bet everyone did? I bet everyone went into into the seed and tested the horses and then knew which one they wanted. <laughs> I did not want that seed out there, you guys. It's still not out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not out there for the people, but a, a lot of people are asking for the seed, but we te- we don't want to we don't want to give the seed away. The seed is can I join minecraft.com. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh man. No, not dot .net. Yeah, it's don't go to the dot .net. It's it's not safe. It's not do not do not go there. Do not go there. We are not just kidding. You will get a virus. Yeah, that's a bad place. So anyways, Nvidia a while back, we talked about the Nvidia Shield that they were planning on releasing, and it looked really, really cool. And um, it's been delayed by a month. It was supposed to come out in July on the twenty seventh, but uh, it's it's been delayed by a month due to hardware issues. I think it was. Oh, that's a nice vague term, isn't it? Yeah. We, well, you know, they had this at PAX East, and I played it, and it was cool. So I was looking forward. Was to that a funny little pointy thing? Controller with the no. screen, basically. Yeah. It, it looks like an Xbox controller, yeah, with a screen. Well, not quite an Xbox controller. It looks like... Oh, controller. that's not an Xbox controller? Well, no, because the little nubby no, thing like should be up. Xbox controller with two made donuts, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's an overweight, <laughs> an obese ex- Xbox controller. But it's it's surprising that it's two ninety nine. That's pretty pricey. Yeah, it is. It is kind of expensive. Isn't, hasn't that gone down from what it was, though? I seem to remember it being ludicrously expensive. Yeah, I think it was a lot more. What was the PS Vita when it first came out? It's it was two ninety nine. Yeah. Um, it originally was three forty nine. The uh, Shield, the Nvidia Shield. Yeah, the, the the PSP and the Vita were sexy bits of kit, weren't they? They looked like you wanted to touch them and rub them and yeah. oh, man. push them around your face. <laughs> I still this, touch and rub mine. This, this just looks like a, a sort of animal's anus, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been what the design team was going for. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to design this <laughs> thing. <It's> <laughs> it is so big, though. I, I mean, it. you know, it, it feels a little bit smaller in real life, I'll, I'll say, because this looks like... I think, I think the controller is a little <laughs> bit smaller than you would imagine from looking at the picture. You know, the bad thing about this is they had already shipped a bunch, and now they they had to recall them. Oh, that sucks. That's like money lost. Yes. Is there like a, a bug in the firmware or something? It just says mechanical issue with the Steam streaming. Oh, wait. No, wait, wait. Uh, go. Okay, the company informed us that it's discovered a mechanical mechanical issue with the Steam streaming Android game playing device. I guess it's not specific to Steam streaming. Oh, oh, oh. I was about to say, how that be mechanical? Oh, it's a GPS button or something. Got a O-ring that's fire. broken. <laughs> Animal saying it's O-ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be released on June 27th, so now it's going to be released sometime in July. I don't know. I don't know about this thing. It's Dude. just, it's, it streams Steam games and Android games. Two ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, I'll let somebody else uh, be more adventurous with that. I can't think of a Steam game. Like what? What game would you buy? Does anyone have a game that they would buy that is controller based, Steam wise, that they really want to play mobily? Oh, I think Limbo games. is being released for. Oh, and that's for the Vita. I want to get it for the Vita. That'd be a cool game to play. Is it already available on Steam? It might be. Yeah, Limbo. yeah, it is on Steam. So there that'd you be go. cool. I'd play that. Okay, but it's two ninety nine. No, yeah, yeah. Swapper's another good game that's like Limbo that you, I guess you could play. There's not a lot of controller based games, is what I'm getting at. That I I think of that I'd want to play. And mm-hmm. most of them are just you know one time you play them and then you're done. Like Limbo, you play that, you're not gonna play it again. Well, you you played it though. I played it. I might play it again. Because it was so long ago, that was over two years ago that I played. Uh, yeah. Okay, moving on. Yeah, Nvidia Shield. Somebody buy it and tell us how it is. <laughs> so Australia <laughs> has banned two games in the last twenty-four hours: State of Decay and Saints Row Four. Well, it's probably not twenty-four hours anymore, but right. Yeah, they like they doing can that. Ban games. They oh. banned. Oh, they banned all Jerry. the time. Germany does it a lot too, right? That's just sad. I know yeah. Doc has talked about Yeah, Australia got really, really stringent. What are they banning them for? Just and the violence, it might hurt the children. Well, it, uh, it, children. it says it banned um, State of Decay specifically because it contains the option of self-administered drugs throughout the game. 
Yeah, but so it's not like heroin, craft. is it? It's like it's like healing things. Uh, well, it says that these medications include both legal and illicit substances such as methadone, morphine, amphetamines, stimulants. Uh, They're all painkillers. Right, codeine, aspirin. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Australia. Yeah. They like their pain. <laughs> that's that's crazy, man. You can also you can, in the game you can also manufacture drugs in a lab. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is approved that's in good Australia. Scientifically accurate, though, is it? Uh, what? As I doubt it's scientifically accurate. Oh yeah, no, I don't think you're you're like getting the teaching kids from... my first meth lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They banned uh, Saints Row 4 because of the implied sexual violence and drug use as well. The, apparently Volition's working on a, a a version of the game that is for that territory by removing content that would cause offense without re- reducing the outlandish gameplay that Saints Row fans know and love. Yeah, good luck with that. It's like, th- the game's like 30 minutes long now. You know, I've read all these people talking about Saints Row. Uh, this is a little bit off topic, but... Uh, Apparently, there's all these Saints Row hipsters that are really offended by Saints Row 3 and 4 um, because it doesn't follow the same type of game. I guess, from what I've read, I've never played Saints Row 1 or 2, but from what I've read from people complaining, it's like they weren't as outlandish, I guess. They were more actual story-driven and not so crazy. Mm-hmm. A little more serious, took, took themselves a little more seriously, maybe? Yeah, 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 I guess that's the best way of saying it. I personally, that's the thing, the biggest draw for me to Saints Row, because if I wanted to, I mean, the Grand Theft Auto is more the serious, well, not maybe not serious, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like Saints Will you play it when it comes out? I want to. <laughs> you going to play it with anyone? I hope so. Be done alone? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Just have to stay tuned. He's not talking. We're not, we're trying, yeah. people. I'm trying to get some info out of him, but he's not talking. Speaking of new games, new Walking Dead game and Pause and Pause is playing. It's well, it's not really the whole new game. It's a DLC, right? Yep, yep. Um, and you explained it to me earlier, but I, th- you, I think you should explain it again. Uh, well, it's DLC. It it follows the the same universe as uh, season one did with Clementine and Lee and everybody. Uh, but it's uh, five. There's five characters, and they're like mini stories where you you play as five different people and you kind of tell their story leading up to how they all come together as a, as a, as a, as a little group, these five people. It's, it, it was really good, um, and it was cool because you you got to play these five different people, and you didn't really get super invested in each person. You just kind of got thrown in and got a little short, about 15, 20-minute picture into their life. And supposedly they're going to be... Um, the uh, the choices you make in this, in this DLC is going to affect Season 2 f- for you as well. So that's kind of cool. You know, I realized the other day, all Telltale is doing, basically, is they're making these, like, it's like this big uh, sociology experiment where they're seeing how people react to situations. Because every single choice you make in this game gets sent back to the Telltale servers. Mm -hmm. Um, They're analyzing the human condition. They are, man. They really are. That's what they're because they're they're using that to develop their next games. I mean, basically, I think what happened here is they realized they didn't have quite a mu- enough information from season one to develop the season two game. They're like, well, we need a little bit, little bit more information. Let's not only get a little bit more information from our players, but let's also make some money while we're at it. So they make a DLC that includes the type of questions they needed to ask to, to develop the next game. And they sell it, and then they get the answers they need to. I don't know. That's just smart business. Oh yeah, it's brilliant, and it's—I mean, the games are great. I'm not dissing that or anything. It's just, uh, just didn't really think about how how much information about myself <laughs> is going into this. I mean, of course, not everyone's going to play it like they would in real life. I guess uh, some people just play the game to see the outcome. But yes, but you can watch that uh, series on Pause's channel or on Goot's channel. Mostly on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pause is not here. So, uh, and another so. series that Good and the Badge just started uh, called Cube World, and this is we talked about a good business model with The Walking Dead. This is probably the worst business model with Cube World because people want to buy it and they can't. <laughs> yes, the site is not even up, man. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do to get this game. Uh, oh, and it's not just me that's playing it. I mean, or me and Badge. Uh, PWO is playing it as well, and I think some other people. I know Milby wants to play. It. I think generic. No, no Milby's done one. Oh, okay. So he finally got it. Um, I mean, everyone's been trying to buy the game, and they can't. Um, yeah, the story. I mean, the story's on Amazon News, so he's 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 obviously you know got structure behind that to actually 
deal with it. So I don't know whether he's manually restricting access or whether well, I don't know what it is. Well, that's well, what I, I decided it, it was: is he was trying to slow down the rate manually, not that. See, I'm wondering if uh, yeah, who wants money. Well, I, I, I definitely think he would want to sell it more, more if he could. I'm wondering if it's something like the whenever you know when you log in uh, to authenticate something like that. I wonder if it, that server is part of the problem. Um, I don't know. This just that, in. That's what it sounds like. Picroma.com is now up, and he just posted that the shop is open again and that our new download system is working smoothly at the moment, and you can access the store here, and there's a link for it. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's, like, dosed itself by being so popular. Mm. Now, that said, you have to be logged in in order to buy the game, right? and the create account page is still offline. Oh. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what threw me last night. So Well, then. Like whenever it whenever it came up for me, it was like four thirty in the morning. I'd been checking it like every hour or so, and it came up. I bought it. I mentioned in Skype to everyone that you could buy it, and it was it was off, all, offline again. So I got it in like a five minute window of it being online. So that just gives you an idea of the kind of diligence you need in order to get this game. And it's really I, fun. It is really fun. It it is it is alpha, and there there are things that obviously need doing. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's it is fun. Definitely, I can't reverse the mouse, and that really annoys the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah, it seems. Uh, and the sound doesn't change either. I've noticed, like the yeah. But if it, you, like you, said, if it's you try and interact with um with a with a landlord in a pub, do you get like, like a there's like this huge orchestral <laughs> yeah. bang? Da, da, da. Well, it resets the time of day to like seven a.m. when you do that. Oh. oh. Huh. Yeah, I didn't realize so that. If it's like the dead of night and you go and have a quick conversation with him, the orchestra plays and suddenly it's daytime. T-I-L. Well, it would make sense if he said something in that little window that starts to pop up over his head and then doesn't. <laughs> uh, I thought there was there were already quests in the game, um, but I guess there's just that boss you can go to. Um, like I'd oh, seen. No, I, I found someone in a village that, that that gave me one. Oh, really? Yeah, the catacombs thing, which I am woefully woefully too weak to do uh, I'm going to die heinously um, but yeah they had a they had a green sort of speech bubble above their head okay and do you have to do you just talk to him and then you get the quest yeah she says I'll go to so and so here I'll put it on your map I see. did you get a pet yet yep I got a kitty kid I want a turtle so bad <laughs> <laughs> I got this lemon beetle thing Ooh. the guy that killed my turtle was talking about his lemon beetle are lemon you part dog? of that group you in the Lemon Beetle group? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. The Lemon Beetles versus the Turtles. Yeah. We're, we're they all walk friends. towards each other, snapping their fingers in a really jazzy way. <laughs> <laughs> Just see them kind of rocking side to side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Cube Worlds. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, it looks fun. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the best of LP games, because it's one of those grindy... Type yeah, of things. very grindy. There I was could a lot see of Kurt, around. Yeah, I could see Kurt playing it great, because he could just walk talk <laughs> that's true yeah. kurt get on it yeah look out for kurt's q world series <laughs> on youtube.com slash kurt yeah but mainly um, my channel there'll be a, a a modification for your character that's got 3d glasses right? yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so right. what do you say we get to some questions let's do it <sighs> do we say i mean it's a bit formulaic isn't it what <laughs> sorry Speaking a joke. Uh, what is your favorite series you have ever recorded, either solo or coop? Or coop. <laughs> Man, right now the new map is just so much fun. Yeah, that's, that's got to be my favorite right now. But it's lots crazy. Of... There's always at least half a dozen people on the server. Isn't I know it's great. Yeah. I was great. able to sleep the other night. It was great. That was much better than <laughs> lots of people on the server. I have to say. Who's uh, who's, who's played FTB recently? Well, I haven't played in months. So. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played in a really long time. But no, I haven't seen hardly any videos from anybody. But, you know, that it'll come back. It's kind of like the whole FTB craze at the start, yeah. too. Uh, people will they'll trickle back in, I'm sure. Favorite Other than Minecraft, time, though. though, currently, what else did you guys uh, have you guys recorded that you well, love? I'm really enjoying the Katamari, but it's very hard to record because there's a lot of level fails and I have to restart. And mm-hmm. Try and do it again, and, and I think the last the last level I recorded because I did a load before I went to DC. And I need to do some more. 
but um, I think the last one I did, it took me like seven attempts to actually complete that level. <laughs> That's how Last of Us feels for me. I die a lot. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, I don't know. You, you don't. You don't want to pretend you're better at a game than you are. But at the same time, no one wants to watch seven attempts of you. Doing right. So. It's funny, Good and I are coordinating our Last of Us episodes, and the last one uh, that went up on the 4th, which was yesterday, um, his episode was 38 minutes, and mine was 20, so it was, it was almost twice as long. And I cut <laughs> out my failures, even, like, that was just wandering around lost like a damn idiot. I even left in some failures, too, so we're... We're coordinating the where we end our episodes so that nobody gets in front of the other person or ahead of the other person, but it, that's funny. <laughs> Thirty-eight yeah. minutes for you, twenty minutes for me, and it was—he's he, saying you suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had a couple that were shorter than him, but uh, whenever he told me where we were cutting at, I was like, "Really? Holy crap, dude! That's like two hours of video." <laughs> <sighs> and then you cut up all your fails. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, you know, man. Thirty I, minutes. Those clickers, I get so frustrated with the clickers because you, Dude, you, I, the, you don't the see The frustrating them. part is the guns and aiming with that controller. Yes, yes, exactly. And people don't understand that. It's tough. It's tough, man. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. And they're not running at you straight, which is something I kind of really like that they did. They're, they're always sort of not even just swaying. They're sort of changing directions a lot, which yeah. makes it really hard to shoot them. But it adds to the suspense. Adds to the death counter. <laughs> that too. Oh man. Well, so what was your favorite series, uh, neighbors or co-op? Um, Starcracks. I don't know. I, I do enjoy the Starcracks. <laughs> um, got to get back on that because we were, we were terrible at that game. <laughs> I think that's why people enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I, I like every little thing you do wrong, you get criticized because <laughs> I mean. It gets pretty intense at the upper levels, like a thousand clicks per minute, it would seem. Yeah. And so I'm moseying along at like 20. <laughs> Scrolling around the screen Scrolling. and highlighting the people very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Use your hotkeys. <laughs> I did once. Speak Korean. <laughs> I think for me, my favorite speak Korean. My favorite <laughs> solo, I think, was the 404 challenge. Oh, yeah, that was fun to watch. Mm-hmm. The original one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The very original one, yeah. Is that Three pumpkins. How, Three how long pumpkins, did that man? go for? Uh, it's like 28 yeah. episodes, I think, each for an hour long. So. Yeah, each for an hour long. That's crazy. Yeah. How did that end? I forget. I I, I ran out of cave. I couldn't find more cave, and so I just went back oh. to the surface. and With an epic good. montage. Oh, yeah. Montage for the whole season. Oh, yeah. And screaming. Yeah, lots of screaming, basically. Back when Good screamed a lot. I didn't think that uh, it would make a good video, honestly, because it was so dark, you know? <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. the darkest series ever, but yeah, it was fun. All right, moving on. Moving on. Thanks for your question, um, nameless person. <clears throat> well, he's, 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 he's got more uh, questions. The same, oh, this is the same person. We yeah. should put a question limit on these things. <laughs> <laughs> you see that you're quoted, cool David. <laughs> well, while watching your intros or time lapses, you always use music, which I wouldn't really associate with the taste of the person I'm watching. For example, Badge's dubstep intro for UHC. I always wonder why don't you use something which you actually enjoy? There's no way Badge likes that intro. P.S. Thanks for <laughs> using Carf Darko in the prank me up. I would never have found him if not for you. Well, Badge? <laughs> well, it's bad form for me to ask a question and then speak first, but I, I use stuff I like because... <laughs> Because you don't associate it, right, with with my taste doesn't mean it's not my taste. I, not I only that, there are like. copyright issues to worry about. You can't yeah, have anything you that want. That music is a bitch. It yeah. really is. Like the Carf Darko that he talks about, I I actually emailed him or uh, messaged him on YouTube for permission, and luckily he was willing. Otherwise, I I wouldn't have been able to use that either. Yeah, I mean, I I went onto a music site and and said, look. Because there, there was a, there was a forum on it that were people talking about you know how to get exposure and stuff and said but, but if, if you want you know can I can I use your your music and I'll give you credit and uh, a few guys said yeah here use mine by all means so it's the only way you can really do it these days. Well, I remember early on in your season, the last the last map, 
um, where you were you had, you had just got partner and you were running an issue with a lot of your old music was copywritten mm. and you contacted one of the guys that you would use frequently and said hey you know I'm doing the series or whatever and gonna get so many views blah blah and he was like yeah if you want to give me money right yeah yeah I mean it was it wasn't bad he said it was it was like I could use that same end tune for I think it's like a thousand videos for it was like fifty dollars or something oh okay but it's not so I, bad. I, no, it's not so bad, but I just, you know, at that time I was making that, you know, a month <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was before I was getting actually any payments out of YouTube, and it was like, well, I can't really do that. Yeah. Well, see, I would think that these people would want exposure, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours type of thing. I don't know. I find that if you contact people. Yeah, but if you contact people, most people will, as long as they're not like super huge successful artists, most people will give you permission. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, yeah. Beat Double O did all right with this um, Ronald Jenkins, didn't he? Yeah. I think he met him in real life, from what I understood in the story he told me. Oh, that, possibly. That probably helps too. That would make, that would make sense. But, um, the, I mean, I, it's, it's not our place to go through the deals he made, but he, he, he was very generous. Very generous. And I don't think. Jenkies really needs that much exposure. No, but you know it's a different it's a, it's nice a different guy. market too. You know, um, yeah. so I think any any bit can help um, for sure. Just depends on the artist, I guess. I, the guy that did the Batman remix I used um, on Newgrounds, I didn't realize it because I never go to Newgrounds. But I looked the other day and he'd messaged me back and was like, "Dude, I'll make you music for any <clears> intro you want. Tell me the game." And but that was like six months ago, so I was like, "Damn, I'm sorry, I didn't even didn't even see this message." That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, custom cool, music man. for any any game you play. And the Batman remix was awesome. So I really, yeah, like, good. I messaged him back and I gave him my actual email and I'd never heard back from him. So I'm like, oh, I missed out on that, that opportunity. That sucks. Anyways. Well, I'll give it six months. Yeah, exactly. So do you think that people are more likely to watch a video if the commentator has a similar accent to them? I know it sounds dumb, but all the big YouTubers seem to be from North America. And Badge gets the least views. I'm Scottish, and the biggest Scottish YouTuber I know of is Sneaky Mode. I don't know, because look at doesn't... PewDiePie. We're not all Swedish. Right, and one of the reasons... Well, look at the people I liked watching originally. It was Good and Anders. <laughs> <laughs> Both have very distinct accents. Yeah. Well, cool, yeah, I mean, according to the... Uh, the what would you call it? The figures. Most, most of mine are from America, so... Maybe they so really you are like wrong, David. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, dude. David's just wrong. But there again, yeah. I think that's just most most people on YouTube are American. So yeah, from, from what it seems to be, I don't I don't think there's necessarily cause and correlation there. It's just it always gets tough when we're trying to figure out YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't figure out YouTube. It whatever happens happens. Whatever happens on YouTube happens on YouTube. That should be their slogan. <laughs> Or just whatever happens is on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, whatever happens. <laughs> uh, that's kind of fitting too, really, because people just upload whatever happens. Yeah, dude, that we just did something. <gasps> we expect money. Yeah, copyright that. <laughs> whatever happens. Or just you know, give us exposure. <laughs> Front page all our videos. Oh, whatever. that kind of exposure. Yeah, make it work. I thought he was going to be flashed by, like, Google executives. <laughs> Look You're at asking quite a bit there. All right. Ah, okay, so, sorry, Badger, for thinking you'd be picking any of my questions today. I watch your videos very occasionally, but I'm always amazed What's how great a builder you are. I don't know. It's like a, you're pretty. here, punch you in the face. Um, <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> thanks, David. Hey, Beja, Goodster, and Beefy, and guess if there are any. I have two things. Really? <laughs> this, this, this is time for that. Hey, can I just point out this guy predicted that Paz wasn't going to be here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Vacation and all. <laughs> First is there are a few people in Minecraft that don't curse, like Doc M and Etho. Well, if YouTube made it so that if you curse in your videos, you would get a warning, and after three, your channel would be taken down, what would you do? Would you do something like test YouTube to see if it was true, or maybe you would edit the curse words, or maybe even just stop cursing? Thanks, and could you give a shout out to my friend Ethan? No. It says shoot out. It yeah, shoot out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't curse much. Uh, I think I'm not as clean as Etho, but 
if YouTube made it so that you couldn't curse, I would think like somebody like Goo, that, I mean, and pause, that's like impossible for them. So you'd probably be stuck with just bleeping out your curse words. I doubt you'd, ha- you'd be able to change your way of speaking much. I don't know. You know, now that my child forms words of her own, I've, I've changed my speaking a little bit as anyways. Just changed man. What are you gonna do, yeah, man? You can't have a kid. I, I should probably fuck. apologize for that. <laughs> what cussing in front of my kid? Uh, no, I, I mean I still do it too. I slip up, uh, but I've definitely changed my and I've noticed it in my videos as well. I, I cuss less here recently because I've changed my dialogue in normal normal speaking in normal life. Um, but no, yeah, you, you you still let them slip and you just edit them out. That is all. I would I would complain strongly about the uh, censorship. Man, Anders, his channel will be shut down immediately. Before this Pre-emptive gets put into effect. Yeah. <laughs> Preemptive shutdown of Anders' channel. Yeah, a few weeks from now, we're going to implement a new no swearing rule. Let's just get rid of this Anders' channel right now. <laughs> the following channels have been shut down. I'm Anders L. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Crazy, crazy. Um, <clears throat> hey, Podcrackers. I like that. I was uh, just wondering, do stroke did? Hang on, I'm trying to work this out. Did have a name for your subscribers? Uh, do you have a name for your subscribers? I presume. Uh, if you do, what is it, and why did you choose it? Love the podcast. Boo. Um, didn't didn't well, I um, have one? I didn't choose it. <laughs> I, I believe Vintage did. Beef did. <laughs> the Nebronis. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you will never be forgiven. I um, also named Ethos people the Ethiopians, and a lot of people <laughs> say Ethiopians. That's not. That's not. That's not the intention. same. Yeah. But I, I, I used to call. Well, I don't know if I. I didn't really. I called them a bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> uh, but nothing really ever stuck. I think Avidia calls his guys citizens. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of cool. I like that. Pause used to cause people Girl Scouts. Yeah, that's right. He did. Wonder what happened to that? Vancouver happened. <laughs> uh, Vancouver happened. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story of those. Yeah, yeah. No, I've never named. If there is know. a name for mine, I don't know. It. The Badgers. That's too easy. Yeah. yeah. The Honey Badgers. The Wheat. <laughs> you're not just watching them they're watching you <laughs> oh god um, how do you feel your channel or life might be different if Minecraft had never been made thanks this is Figsy Texas I think we talked about this a little before we started recording there would be no channel for me <laughs> that's yeah, the only I, I started one I, 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 yeah I don't think any of us would be where we are. No, no, probably not. Probably be some successful businessmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We have a real job. Yeah. Make something of ourselves. Uh, I, I guess my channel would have still been there because I made it before Minecraft, but I don't know if there'd been more than one video on it. Yeah, I'm sure everything would be different. But if you change You'd one be, little thing in your life, everything you might different. be you might still be be into Lots the world of, of Warcraft stuff. Oh God, I might be mad because that's Minecraft was my escape. You could have been like world champion of WoW, world if that's a thing. The best <laughs> ever. Oh man, I doubt I would have paid the same. Be like right. that guy in uh, South Park. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that's it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so one, I am aware that you have probably by now reset the server. But yeah. regardless, I have heard that 1.7 is the biome update. Do Every, you not think it wise to wait until then to reset the server? Yeah, let's <laughs> wait till 1.7. And then when it's not the biome update, we'll wait till 1.8. Wasn't and that, so on and so uh, Didn't that happen 1.4? Wasn't that supposed Sure to be did. Uh, 1.6 was supposed to be the biome update. And then <laughs> last minute, uh, Jeb, you know, horses! Yeah. Uh, so that could happen in any update. 1.7 will probably... God damn it. Oh, oh, professional. Unbelievable. I know, now right? we got to start all over. <laughs> <laughs> it probably will be the biome update now that Jeb publicly announced it at some convention. So, But 
we 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 had to reset the server. It was time. Yeah, well, well we knew it was going to be one point seven anyway, didn't we? It's not like it was a surprise. Right. Well, after it wasn't one point six, we thought it yeah. was sure. Yeah. That's the reason we're Just staying on that the continent there. So if it is a biome update, we don't have to. You know, we yeah, can, that, can easily explore without having to go too far. And those of us, well, those of you who watched for a while, will know we've done that before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My biggest worry is that if it's not 1.7, then what are we going to do on that on that continent? I'm worried we're going to get tired of each other and kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. That's quite <laughs> big, though, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway. Just reset it for 1.7. Yeah, I'll just reset yeah. it again. I mean, people really enjoy the reset. Let's just reset it every update from now on. Just new map. <laughs> yeah. Season 12. Yep. Is this, is this time we up for that? Oh, yeah. Him and Adlington both. What, <laughs> that was the biggest concern. Whenever I saw the chest was from Adlington, I was like, holy crap, man. This guy builds big-ass castles. This whole jungle is in danger. It's like <laughs> <laughs> you'd call in some organization to save the jungle. Didn't he say he was going to recreate that castle? Yeah. Why? Bill so he never do. exactly never finishes it. Maybe he's just a completionist and he really wants to finish it, man. Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Adlington. We love you. I Is he it. winning, by the way, in deaths? I don't know between him and Badge uh, who's the winner. No, I think I might be winning at the moment. Okay. I wouldn't call it winning. <laughs> no, no, it's winning. <laughs> well, it's not a competition, so you're right. He's not winning. <laughs> yeah. But if it was, you would not be winning. Yeah, I'm, pl I'm playing the game I want to play it. <laughs> I like to die. I don't get it. That's nothing, does it? Yeah, no. I do what I want. I'll do what I want. <laughs> exactly. Um, two, if you were given £50 billion, that's £50 billion pounds and dollars but for the rest of your life, every swear word you say will result in a random friend or loved one to lose a ligament. Holy hell. Lose a ligament. Wow. Uh, can, it be, uh, can it be the ones that, like, operate your pinky? And then <laughs> then when all of them are gone, lose a limb, what would you do? The person and ligament would be totally random, and a person could lose all ligaments and limbs if you swore enough times. So just to clarify, for every swear word you say, one ligament from one friend or loved one will remove painlessly and instantly. If all ligaments from one limb are gone, there's also a chance their limb will be removed, but it's not guaranteed. If all limbs on a single person are gone, they will not die, but instead live the rest of their life as a nugget. This person really like thought about this question. <laughs> wow. He sits, there, he sits there with a mask riding a tricycle, doesn't he? He's oh, he's, he, he, <laughs> ca he carries on right here. The show words include bitch bastard or anything worse. Does not include damn crap or anything less. Well, we're well, doing well, Bastard's a, a valid term. Yeah, yeah, and damn is not included, but bastard is. I think I could get by on damn and crap, though. I think oh. so. I do. Hell yeah. Now, can you say it in other languages? Damn crap, yeah. Ah, now that is a good question. Mm, mad. I don't know. Could you swear in other languages? This guy, this, this little crazy guy, <laughs> Jay, did not think of this. He thought about everything else. Yeah, I, I think I can do it. I'd take, I'd take the risk. I'd take the money. Let's do it. Well, I mean, I mean, with that much money, you can get them prosthetic limbs and arms anyway. Right. We'll just three D print them. Yeah. As, oh. as has been pointed out, pretty much weekly, my name is a mild swear word in Swedish. So, what am I going to do? You're <laughs> screwed. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I'm not. I'm afraid. How, how often do you say your own name? <laughs> You know? I've uh, stopped every video. He's like Jimmy. <laughs> Speaks of himself in the third person. <laughs> Bash is going to record this video now. Bash has had a great sandwich. <laughs> uh, Bash had a nice steak earlier. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we'll keep up for it. Yeah, I'll do it. I would do it too. Yeah, I'll do it. You can, you can not swear. Then blast bollocks. Yeah. Uh, how are your fingers, good? <laughs> no, probably... Well, the thing is, with with that much money, you can just get a whole bunch of friends to. <laughs> yeah, oh right. yeah, buffer friends. Buffer <laughs> friends. I mean, reduce, it's a random. Reduce friend. the odds. Yeah, but the ones that you really care about, the odds of them getting hurt are going to go down. Yeah, nice, good, good plan. Brain idea. Like it. Um. Well, that was Jay. So. Last question. When we, the viewers, send in our questions, do a few get selected and the rest deleted? Or are you randomly selecting from God knows how many pages of mails in the inbox? 
I guess what I'm trying to say is this. Even if a question didn't get selected for one podcast, is it possible it could get selected for future ones? Yada, yada, pause on vacation, blah, blah, beef is amazing, love you guys. Henecho. Henecho. Nebris. Nebris. Henecho. There you go. Isn't that some sort of... Do you speak Japanese? Japanese? Captain. Yeah, he does. Really? Why do you speak Japanese? Because I can. Is it? Do you have like a thing for Asian girls? Best off height. answer. Height. <laughs> Yes. Do you say God, height? Uh, said height. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, what's the question again? The the, the questions oh. get randomly selected. They kind of oh. do to some mm. extent. I mean, I go down the list and I select them, but then it's possible that Pause could select a different one. If yeah. some of them we don't, I think there was a question, a few questions today we just skipped over. Yeah, we read them and then we're like, this is we've answered yeah. this or this is not. This is no good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, one of them was terrible. Yeah. Oh, it involved that? mothers and yeah, hot stuff. Yeah, mother guy, your question is not getting answered. Yeah. <laughs> Better look next time, mother guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess that's really that was I a bad guess. last question, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that the last one? Well, oh, yeah. the the J question was worse. So <laughs> I think we're, it's good we ended on this one. <laughs> um, hentai cho? Is that how you say it, Nevers? Yeah, close enough. Okay. Yeah, that, Thank you very much for your question. Tentacles, isn't it? I'm sure. <laughs> now, did you take in college? I, I really yeah. want to know more about. Okay, in college. Oh, okay. Uh, did yeah. You, did I had you to travel? Take a language in college, so took Japanese. Was it? I have a feeling this has something to do with something very nerdy. <laughs> it re- it really doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no like mangas that you read in Japanese or no. Really. All right. Well, <laughs> He's. It doesn't sound like a convinced man. No, I'm not. Well, I'm not sold on this one quite yet. Well, um, I sort of entertained the idea of being a game developer at some point in my life, but uh, aside from that, I didn't really have any reason. I was sick of Spanish. I took that in high school. There you go. That's as good a reason as any. Have yeah. you traveled to any place that speaks Japanese? No, but like three of my coworkers do, so oddly enough, I, I still use it from time to time. Huh. What do you talk about? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we can be done now. Are you still yeah. curious? I'm still a little curious. I'm not satisfied with the, the whole whys. That's okay. Paris, <laughs> where can people listen to your voice? They can listen to my terrible voice. It's actually quite hoarse right now. They can do it on my I channel. Have not been. YouTube. <laughs> Shut up. Just imagine one day we're going to see him and he's going to drink like a gallon of water. And he's going to be like this whole new person. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nevers88 on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube.com. I, yeah. Yes, my um, Twitter is Cheaty Nebris, but I don't really tweet much. <laughs> Cheaty Nebris. Um, that's me. And that's it. That's it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Nevers, and thank you all for listening. And we will, uh, I guess we'll see you next time, maybe <laughs> Saturday. Yeah, whatever day. Oh, hey, uh, we should mention that there might be things to watch in the background of the podcast. That's right. If, Ooh. Courtesy of Easy Kagi. Yeah, my hard drive died on that computer right as I started doing all that. So nice. I had recorded it on a hard drive, and I'm having a little bit of trouble with everything and size and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, we all have trouble with size. Yeah, it's, yeah. I should have took Japanese in college. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Excellent how that... Bigger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyways. So, yes. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ja. Penis.